Thank you for that. Now, former L.A. City Councilman Mitch Englander has been sentenced to prison for more than a year for his role in a city hall corruption case. Federal judge says the sentence is important to restore the public's trust in government. Our investigative reporter Eric Leonard is live right now with the very latest on this. Eric. Well, Colleen, former Councilman Mitch Englander became the first city official to be sentenced in the FBI's corruption investigation at City Hall. That's also ensnared former Councilman Jose Huizar, several City Hall staffers, and a number of real estate developers and business people. Englander has been ordered to serve 14 months, and the judge says one reason for that time inside is to send a warning to other public officials. At a hearing held over video conference, U.S. District Court Judge John F. Walter told Mitch Englander the sentence for lying to federal agents and prosecutors had to include time behind bars. Not just because Englander admitted to trying to obstruct the City Hall corruption investigation, but because the sentence would send a message that no one was above the law. Judge Walter said in court, the defendant's obstruction campaign was calculated, extensive in scope and duration, and designed to mislead investigators and a custodial sentence will send a strong message of criminal deterrence to our elected officials. Englander pleaded guilty last year. His defense lawyer tried to convince the judge that no prison time was needed and the public humiliation from the arrest along with home detention would be punishment enough. Englander admitted he lied to FBI agents about trips to Las Vegas and Palm Springs, about receiving $15,000 in cash from a businessman in inside a men's room and accepting expensive hotel rooms, meals, perks, and even escorts from the same businessman who was trying to do more business in L.A. The feds say the Englander case grew from the larger corruption investigation that targeted former councilman Jose Huizar, who's charged with accepting more than one and a half million dollars in bribes and other enticements from people who allegedly were trying to get real estate projects through the city's permitting process. That case is moving to trial and the FBI says the investigation is ongoing. Now, the judge said today he suspected Englander's greed or arrogance played into this scheme, that Englander thought he'd never be caught, or if he was, he wouldn't face punishment. Englander told the judge he owns what he did and takes full responsibility. He apologized to the court, the FBI, to his family. He's been ordered to surrender to prison in June. Former Councilman Wiesar has pleaded not guilty and is awaiting trial. Reporting live, I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News. Back to you.